You know, when you think about the future of work, you probably think of Silicon Valley, right? Well, forget that. The most fascinating experiment is actually happening inside a prison in Maine. Let's get into this story, because it's a wild one. So, meet Preston Thorpe. He's a senior software engineer, been coding since he was just 13 years old. And he gets it. The tech world, it's pretty much a meritocracy. All that matters is, can you do the work? Can you write the code? And for him, that one simple fact has been an absolute lifesaver. Get this. Preston is making over $100,000 a year. He's even bought a house. But here's the kicker. He's doing it all from his cell at the Mountain View Correctional Center. Yeah, where he's been incarcerated for over a decade. That sounds impossible, doesn't it? So how on earth is this happening? And what could this mean for the entire idea of rehabilitation? That's exactly what we're going to unpack right now. The answer lies in this really groundbreaking program in Maine that is completely flipping the script on prison labor. It's a model that's turning a lot of heads, and believe me, it's for a very good reason. Okay, just look at the difference here. On one hand, you have the traditional model. An ACLU report found that the average pay is about 13 cents an hour for, you know, dead-end jobs. But then you have Maine's model. We're talking market rate wages, 10, 25, even more per hour for real 21st century skills like coding and grant writing. They're working for actual tech companies and nonprofits. It's just a different universe. So what is this thing really? Well, it's a super secure system that lets vetted prisoners do real remote work for real companies. It isn't just busy work to pass the time. It's a genuine bridge to the digital economy. And here's the nitty gritty of how it works. Inmates actually apply for these jobs, and then they work on specially configured laptops in supervised areas. And when they say monitored, they really mean it. We're talking restricted internet, absolutely no social media, and literally every single keystroke is logged. 